embraces the values that were the origin of the founding of the United States of America. This is a community that embraces being both a melting pot and a salad bowl. There's no debate over that here in Weston, and there shouldn't be a debate over that in, anywhere in this country. Because if you recall from learning history in school, a melting pot means that we have many cultures that blend together, that work, work side by side, live side by side, play side by side, that blend together and make up the beauty of the United States of America. But at the same time, we are also a salad bowl in which each of us has absolutely no reason and should be unwilling to give up our cultural, religious, and personal <laughs> identity while being part of the incredible tapestry that has been woven for more than 230 years in this country. Mm -hmm. That's what the American <laughs> millions of 
people right now just by threatening to take away the protection that they're provided with through the Affordable Care Act. I, I know that personally as a breast cancer survivor. I know women who I have taught, spoken to in the midst of their breast cancer treatment, either going through radiation or chemotherapy, who were dropped before the Affordable Care Act was law in the middle of their treatment. And ultimately had to decide whether to take the chemo or the radiation because they couldn't afford both. When you are battling for your life, the last thing we need to add to your burden is to battle your insurance company too. It is outrageous and acceptable. Building a 
huge and expensive wall on our Mexican border. That there's no way in hell we should expect the nation of Mexico to pay for it. As they only admitted, we're going to put the taxpayer of America on the hook, and we will never see that money. It was a lie, and we need to make sure people understand that. That's why many of my Republican colleagues are already saying they're going to reject it. There's an army of people who feel, feel the same way and they need your help. One of my own passions has been protecting women's health. Whether it's making sure that we don't pay more for health care coverage as women than men, because before the Affordable Care Act, just being a woman was a pre-existing condition. <laughs> just walking in the door because of our gender, or ensuring that we continue to control our own reproductive decisions, that's part of what fires me up. And as a cancer survivor, Thank you. 